Hi everyone, so um, you will have seen the la last video I posted regarding uh, the refinement of this um, system um, with this little bracket right here. Um, now it works quite nicely in terms of the fact that the mechanical side of it works. I posted on the Instagram account about how I've actually found using it. Um, I'm very much more used to using um, Soex carburetors where you need choke in order to start it cold. Um, whereas this... Um, it's actually very, very difficult to get it right, I'm finding. And that's basically a matter of trying to use um, essentially what they call a fast idle when it's cold. In other words, you pull choke out, it holds the revs higher while the engine warms up. And obviously, it's now just a case of getting the scientific side of it to work so that it's actually got a proper use on the car and not just bolted to the carburetors look pretty i'm rather happy so far because obviously i have at least got a linkage that does work that is that was the first major step really so now it's just a matter of understanding exactly how it needs to be set up because i would like to be able to literally pull the pull the choke lever as you would on any other old car turn the key and it start have high revs and basically do exactly as you tell it to do through the lever that's what i'd like to do whether it's possible or not i don't know but i'm going to give it down with try and find out so now as usual we make paul down in worthing at Renault repairs um looked at the video straight away and just said you're missing something mate because it should do this that and the other and it by the sounds of it isn't and he was talking about um adjusting this fast idle throttle linkage which is literally um that little that rod there and what he said is you actually have to bend it bending this piece here um straighter because it's almost sort of like a dog leg apparently and basically so if you imagine a straight thing that say does this if i'll get my finger so you can see it so imagine it goes straight up and then go kinks crossing upwards so you've got that kink there and therefore you've got two folds and if you straighten them out obviously you're going to link from the rod or shorten it if you push it the other way so that's what I've now got to try and do and get it right. Well, I can't quite believe it, folks. Um, the dog leg was, obviously, it had that kink like that in that sort of shape. Also, in the other direction, it was also sort of um, bent up as, as, in that way as well, like a banana. So what I've done is literally leant against it, pushed it as straight as I can, and just given it a try. And literally, just by straightening it, the um, other buckle bit is, the other buckle shape is still in it. It's just purely now in a dead straight line. But it's made enough difference that now actually started by me pulling the choke out. It's exactly what I've been trying to achieve. So now, um, as fast as it, I can get it to fast idle. There you go. Obviously, it's warmed up a bit now, so it's um, responding a little bit differently. But um, what I'd like to do is get it so you pull this out and it will start and sit about, say, 1500 RPM. Evening everyone, so um, just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. Um, the tens choke, um, I've been playing around with a little bit the last few weeks to basically just try and fine tune myself into exactly how it wants to be used. Um, now, obviously, anyone who knows any old car out there um, is going to know that if you've got a manual choke, um, every single car will start slightly differently. Um, sometimes they just want the lever pull all the way out and turn the key and it'll fire up. Others want half choke, a couple of pumps of throttle pedal and it will start straight away. Other ones you start it with this all the way out and then you push it back in until it runs quite nicely. And then obviously it will warm itself up and you push it all the way back in. Um, obviously in this occasion I'm not sure at all. So um, I've been going along basically trying it every, every other day in different temperatures. Um, last weekend it, the whole car in fact was completely iced over and um, I had to take this out to go and get parts for my partner's car 
and um, well, even when it was minus three outside, which is what the McGann registered, um, this still fired up and it still ran beautifully. So I was really impressed with that. Um, as far as the choke itself was concerned, though, um, it, it's been quite a bit of a lucky dip, really. But um, you've got always got to try it to learn where it's when it's finally adjusted. You got to only try it when it's stone cold because that's basically when you get the best results and um well i've just come out to it tonight um the last time i tried it um i tried full choke tried to start it and it basically cat caught and then died and then eventually you'd sort of catch it on the throttle instead and then you pull choke out and just get it to the point where it wanted to hold and run nicely um so i've just adjusted it up a little bit um if i show you the linkage we got around the back here just to refresh our little memories my mine's quite small <laughs> um so that little dog leg, if I get this stupid bonnet to hold up in the right place. So this little dog leg just hidden here, um, that should have a little kink in the middle of it. And basically, um, when I was speaking to my mate Paul, trying to understand how to adjust the fast idle on this car, when you are operating the choke, you're trying to restrict the air and give it more fuel at the same time. But obviously, if you've got more restriction in one place and less or another, it isn't going to be the right ratio and therefore the car's not going to want to start so what i've had to do is um this did have a lovely kink in the middle of it just where my finger is back now um what i've literally just done is sat here bent it all as straight as i can with a pair of pliers and um well it seems to work quite nicely now so um if i pull if i pull a little choke out and i'll try and start it and um hopefully you'll get what i mean so, let's make sure we're definitely out of gear. There we go, job done. Right, okay, so if I start it up. Okay, wants a little bit of choke. There you go, should work. There we go, beautiful. I mean, that wasn't even a um, stunt, that is actually <laughs> what I wanted it to blooming do in the first place. But basically, um, we've now got the right adjustment at the back that enables us to pull this out, increase the revs and lower them at the same time on that lever. So I'm really, really happy that with that. I can't believe it got cold enough to need to choke that quickly. That is insane. But um, yeah, so by basically straight the dog leg out, we've enabled us to have um, activate the throttle more whilst activate whilst the butterfly shut off the air supply at the same time but obviously unless you've got enough movement on the throttle as well as the butterfly that shuts the air off um, the ratio which is called stoichiometric ratio which is basically fuel and air um, unless that is just right the engine will not start so obviously when it's cold you need more fuel to air and then once it's up to temperature that reduces so yeah this is why we have the um opening of the throttle and the shutting of the butterfly which basically just restricts the amount of air going because it makes it ultra rich mixture for a cold start good morning folks so um now's the day um i'm now going to just say uh, now i'm now going to fathom out whether or not i've got this adjustment right so i've put the key in the ignition and i turn her on turn him on rather and um Let's pull this choke out and see, purely and simple, is it now set up correctly? So if I take you out of the little holder here and spin you around, this is our little lever here. It's all now pulled all the way out, as you can see. So let's see if it works, shall we? I'd be really happy if it does, and obviously you're going to hear it straight away if it does as well. So let's go for it, shall we? Exactly the same as it did last, not first time. Just change the camera angle before we angle. 
so it wasn't quite as smooth off to pull it out and um, turn the key as I was hoping for. However, it has started, it's chugging away quite nice as you can probably hear, but it is running on its own with the choke. There we go, that's done it. That's better. That's better. <laughs> yes! We've now got a fast idle that is working on the choke lever. I, I'm really happy with that. There we go. And now it's it's just got through whatever. I think it may actually be because it's quite damp outside. So obviously it might have a little bit of damp in the ignition system. Because now here it is running really smoothly and it's sitting now on fast like 2000 rpm so now if we push it in yes <laughs> I'm really happy with that beautiful so on that note, um, we have a, I suppose, a pretty good success there. It's not absolutely spot on, but I think I'll say it's because obviously the weather's quite damp today. So um, that'll always affect the classic car a little bit because it'll always be a different um, different setting atmosphere in which it's got to start on. So whereas a new car, it's all being worked out by a little brain works out okay this is our temperature here this is our pressure here so this is how much fuel i'm going to give it and that will work perfectly on old car it is very much sort of every time you start it is a completely new situation and you always find different um like different different weather hot cold damp dry it's always slightly different so therefore um i'm going to say today that i'm really happy with that and i reckon on a nice dry day um i reckon it'll work even better so Thank you very much for watching and um, hopefully I won't be bit in the backside when um, I try on a nice dry day and it doesn't work at all. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and um, hope to see you again soon. Take care. Hi folks, so um, we we'll try the 10 again today. Um, I want I want you, the viewers, to be part of me getting to grips with this choke, understand exactly how it needs to be for it to start perfectly first time. Um, now what I've just tried is pulling it about halfway and then trying the old trick of pumping the throttle once and seeing what it does. And um, annoyingly, I forgot to put the camera on, which is really, really annoying me and frustrating right now. But nonetheless, it's on half choke now, and so the ignition on first. <laughs> Starts at 1500 RPM, absolutely spot on. So. If I can try and do that again for you on camera another day, I will, but um, yeah, I'm rather pleased with that because obviously it means that um, on a typical cold day when you want to go somewhere and you've got to get them out of the garage and then lock the garage up, I know damn well now that I can start it up, drive out the garage, leave it on its own and it will sit there and just warm itself up. not basically stall because the fuel air mixture just isn't quite right. Oh, so you can hear it's um, oh, so you can hear it's not quite right it's sort of choking away a little bit but I found yesterday what I did when I tried this same thing that like it is doing right now it's sort of warming itself up a little bit and then it will start to run a lot lot better so like now it's now up to about 17.50 but obviously it's now starting to gradually climb because it's getting warmer that doesn't quite need to, doesn't need that rich mixture but obviously the warmer it's as, as things are progressing the rich the mixture is getting just right so it's getting happier and happier it's now sitting about 2000 so yeah I'll try and do another video for you on another day and hopefully I can get it right for you on camera and generally the trick is, I think, is going to be half choke, one prop, pump the throttle, turn the key and it should fire. Fingers crossed. So um, I look forward to showing you that. Thanks so much for watching. Good evening folks, so um, I showed you this morning um, 
just after I'd started the car um, I thought it was quite well adjusted um, it's been left all day it's probably about one or two degrees all day so nice and cold um, I'm now going to give it a quick try for you on camera just to um, see if what I think is the correct combination is if it is we've then got a perfect um, way of starting the car with the choke so it was a pump of the throttle like so a little bit out like so as well and <laughs> yes we pump of the throttle and half choke absolutely perfect that is absolute perfection I will take that I will take that <laughs> I'm happy with that <laughs> right well um you can now see I've got the choke adjust up properly because it's worked perfectly first time. So um, I think the next step will be taking off the linkage itself and getting it all tied up so it looks nice, so it doesn't look like, doesn't look like it's been made up and stuck on there. So thank you very much for watching and um, hopefully I'll be able to include you on my next project. See you soon.